I just bought a new backpack and tried it out on a couple trips and uh, want to do a quick little review of it in case anybody is into photography and needs something legit. This may be the one. and get some food. I got a little farmer's market thing going on here. I'm hungry. This backpack's not light. It's actually pretty heavy, but uh, it works well. All right, now I got some lunch in my bag. Made it a little bit heavier. Eight ounces to be exact. Okay, I will actually say that this backpack's super comfortable for as big as it is. Um, you can see it on my shadow. I got it super loaded down right now. Hope I don't get the speed wobbles. Look at this guy. No fucks. No fucks given. So anyway, I love the backpack. I think it's amazing how comfortable it is. Now we're going uphill. You want your gear to be safe, especially if it's not only just heavy, but it's expensive and it's all in one place. That kind of creates quite a bit of a liability. It's actually, I'll be honest, it's harder to hold this camera up than it is to uh, wear this backpack. We'll do a nice little review, or I'll just give you guys a little insight to what's in my bag. This is made out of some fucking wizardry fabric material from Thailand or, I don't know, Nova Scotia or something. I don't even know where it's made from. Not a bad backpack. Obviously you guys saw that I was able to uh, control it pretty well on a skateboard. Walking around with it, super comfortable. Totally forgot about my snack. There's little zipper and pockets and pens and it's like a nice little nerdy pocket protector right there. Um, also right here in the front, which is probably the, one of the most important parts other than my earbuds. Oh, nice. Just for a little bit of protection. Purchased illegally uh, in Portland, Oregon. Anyway, uh, rain cover, pretty awesome. Rain cover, and then the other second thing that I have right away, other than the rain cover, especially if you're traveling, you never know what kind of weather you're gonna meet, obviously, needless to say. I got a nice little chamois. This is huge, it's a little overkill, but you never know when it's gonna come in handy if you go in somewhere soaked or your camera gear soaked. Um, you know, I have Cam Canon 70Ds, which um, don't, uh, you know, they're not water sealed. Some of my lenses are, but my actual cameras themselves are not. All that stuff fits really, like, nice. I still have tons of room. Little um, sections down here where if you need to pull out uh, extra parts for uh, your, your tripod, you can pull that out. Leg goes in there. Strap it up here. Strap it down here. It's nice and secure. The only thing I don't really like about this bag, I'll get to that first, really is this bottom flap. This is kind of a piece for a waist strap. Um, I guess it's convenient if you want to put it away. I think I would rather just save some material down here even though it's got some padding on it. Um, I don't know, it just seems kind of like a little bit overkill for a bag like this. Unless maybe you're really planning on doing some heavy backpacking, but if that was the case, these straps wouldn't do you any good. This is good for a day pack. This is definitely going to be good for um, you know camera work around town for traveling. It's a great airport bag. It fits perfect in a stowaway. Uh, a lot of gear fits in here. I'll show you that right now. I would say that's a good minimum 20, 25 pounds. I got a bunch of like side pockets to stash some cool shit in. A lot of time when I'm doing a photo shoot or a wedding, I try to illuminate the background. Uh, let's see what happens here. Just so that you can kind of get a little bit of a extra look around something, kind of illuminate something. I don't know if you guys can even see that. That was probably useless. I got some charging cables, uh, needless to say, Essentials ready to go in case something dies while we're talking about these side flaps Huge again. This thing has tons of space It's been a while One thing I love about this backpack is when you open it up here on the side It's got a little mesh sort of uh, catch right here Which makes it incredibly convenient so when you put things away and you want to get it to it quickly 
you know, these zippers are super convenient too with the pull tabs. You're opening this thing up quickly uh, to get your stuff and it expands, but nothing's gonna fall out, especially if you're in this position here, you open it up, nothing's gonna come out of here. Also, if you don't wanna have to open it up every time, of course it's got its little side pack. I'm just gonna unfold this thing so you guys can see it. Here is my MacBook Pro, which is uh, quite a beast. It's not, it's a 2013, so it's not super light, um, but this I'm sure would hold up to a 17 inch, um, even if it wasn't a compact MacBook, it sure could hold just about uh, most all laptops. Uh, a couple other cool things, especially when I'm using a small tripod for my GoPro or some sort of selfie stick or something. You got these nice little bungees up front. I'm guessing you could put some sort of power bar or something in there. It's got a couple D-rings on there, make it really comfortable if you're holding a camera on the front of you. Uh, again, this thing is made really solid. It's got a nice little chest strap and it's obviously made by Think Tank. That's uh, in the title, you see that. But um, I don't even know anything about the company. I'm not endorsed by the company. I'm not sponsored by the company. I don't even know what Think Tank necessarily means, but I'm rolling with it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Maybe we could get uh, a different camera angle for this part. So you can see inside this thing. Uh, again, something notable about this is how deep it is. You can see it's, um, it's quite large. I would say, I don't know, good seven, eight inches deep. I've had other DSLR backpacks um, a lot more shallow than this, which means if you have a big camera like this beast here, and you got your tripod mount on the bottom. I actually have two in case I ever have to switch lenses and got to use this. Um, I actually kept that. I don't usually travel with it that way because it's super bulky, but I put it in there for obvious purposes so you guys can see how deep that is. I would say it uh, fits perfectly. You could probably put um, quite the big camera in here. If you had a bigger body, this is a 70D, so it's not massive, uh, but it fits perfect in there. Um, a few other things that I'll show you. Actually, I'll just kind of unpack this real quick so you guys can see what I have. I'll go through it. You have some waterproof zippers in here to protect your camera gear so this is nice and lined with plastic uh, inside i have all my batteries a bunch of battery storage all my extra batteries nine volts rechargeables uh, camera batteries the other part that i have up here is my memory this is not much right now usually i have the bigger box but i was just skating around town so here we go i got my chargers i got battery chargers i got a gopro charger um, i got an extra battery for you know rechargeables or to recharge phones or things on the go um, you know you got to bring all these things there Again, it's kind of redundant. Obviously I didn't need it all skateboarding, but I brought it because I wanted to show you guys what would fit. The other things I got in here is my audio. So here's my H Zoom H1. Here's a dead cap for the uh, microphone. That's also uh, actually on the camera right now, so you're not gonna be able to see that. Uh, but here's my dead cat, here's my microphone. I got a, a giant squid lava on there. The thing works super well, fairly inexpensive. Uh, the reason I love it is because I can just fuck around with it. I don't really care, I'm not too, careful with my stuff. I want to use it. I don't want to baby it. Um, I have an extension as well in case I have to hook a, one of these mics or something up to my camera. My Tamron 10 to 24, super wide angle. Well, not necessarily for a crop sensor, but wide angle for me. Uh, love this lens. Hate the autofocus. Super loud. Barely can use it for video. I would have used it for this video, but instead I'm using my 50, nifty 50 for this video. This chesty for the GoPro, little light, light filter, all in the same uh, little cabinet right here just because I don't uh, I don't use this this often. It's only in emergencies or wit, uh, video shoots wedding shoots, but you know when I'm just rolling around town I just kind of stuff things that I use least likely into this pouch here GoPros as well I got the new hero 6 I got an old hero 3 for backup. Um, also, I got my kit lens again something I trash uh, Has a huge scuff on it But again, you know if I'm out to shoot in the rain and I'm outside and I don't have something weather sealed uh, I can risk taking that with me. A bigger piece of audio equipment is the Zoom H5. I love the Zoom H5. This thing rocks. Um, it fits in here perfectly. And of course, a Gorillapod. Uh, cleaning gear. And again, I'm pretty rough with this stuff. I'm not the neatest and tidiest. I do have a little extra space for some more stuff. These zippers are super nice. It's dual zippers in case you want to keep the zippers up top because you're usually getting in and out. Really fucking comfortable. I'm surprised about that. With all the weight that I have in here, uh, this thing's actually more comfortable than I expected. Um, and that's what I'm going to say about it. So even though it is expensive, it's absolutely worth it because you want to protect your stuff, obviously. And you want to have it all in one place. Uh, that's my review on this thing. So I hope you guys liked it. Hope that was informational. If you did and you dig it and you want to see more or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, most people to watch my channel so far are just friends and family. But in case you're a photographer, videographer, or just a traveler, and you have any questions or comments, or you want to like or subscribe, or just because we appreciate the support. I'm gonna go skate a little bit more. It's still a beautiful day. And thank you guys for watching.